Okay, Sports Choir here with Amanda Guerrero from Georgia State Women's Soccer. You had a big goal to earn the win over South Alabama, but just take me back to earning that victory and how big that was for the team, because I don't think they've beaten the team in many, many years, and you've never beaten them. So what was that like for you? Yeah, so I actually read that we we didn't beat South Alabama there like till 2003, and like yesterday or something like that. So like I didn't like knew it before starting the game. So it wasn't like a like a thing that like made the different game or whatever. Like we just play like what we've been training for like during this preseason, and yeah, we made it. So. And what about your goals? A highlight goal, you able to go down the, the, the right side and chip the ball over the goalkeeper. Uh, what were you trying to do with that shot? And just take me back to the game winner. So it was the minute 107th. So like, I, like we were like all tired and we, it was like an intense game. So yeah, like uh, I grabbed the ball and I dribbled like one of the defenders. And the only thing that I that I wanted to do is to take like the game over so I just saw that goal like into the net and like with like I mean I I, I actually wanted to do it so yeah I was like 100% confident like that I wanted to to win so it was your first goal of the season so it seemed like you led the team in scoring last year but it was your first one year how did that feel to finally get on the scoring board so as I said before like I'm extremely happy because like of that goal because like you know like I'm a forward and like I like a little bit of pressure like comparing myself it to to last year and yeah I mean I'm a forward so like we like our job is like to score goals and since it was like my first goal like I'm happy because like the like I'm like more confident now and yeah and the team is off to a very good start. Uh, you won a lot of conference games so far. Why do you think that is? What have you done well as a team? Um, actually, I think that it is not like a thing that we've been doing like only this year. I mean, we've been like training a uh, super hard like uh, during years ago. I mean, I've been here like just last year and this one. So like these two years we've been training super hard and actually I don't think that we deserved like the position that we got last year in the conference so I mean uh, I think that it, it is just the result of like many many years working uh, on a goal. What was the off season like for you in the summer? Did you travel back to Europe and to Spain? Did you stay in the United States and how was it training for you under these conditions? So yeah, I went back to Spain in March because of the COVID and I got in Spain and we've been doing like quarantine but like a strict one. It was like more strict than, than here. We couldn't get out of home. Yeah, I mean, you were just allowed to get out of your home if you went to the pharmacy or to see a doctor or to a supermarket. So I was like, I mean, you couldn't do like too many things but I have like a garden. So I've been like training, I had like a ball. So I've been like doing some exercise like core and also like our coaches schedule us like some some trainings uh, to do like during the quarantine. So yeah, I've been training there. And when we get out the quarantine, I've been like with my personal trainer, like working hard for like to get ready for the precision. When did you return to the United States? And what was that like for you to be back here? Uh, we came here the 5th of August uh, to start the precision and uh, like as always like I was like extremely happy because I'm always super happy to come here and I really love being here so yeah and I mean I come here to to play soccer which is my passion so I mean extremely happy. And how did you end up coming to Georgia State from Spain? That's a very long way and Coming to Atlanta, it's a different city. What was the recruitment like? Why did you end up deciding to come to Georgia State? So, well, it is like actually a little bit funny because, um, like I was in Spain and I started like doing the recruiting with some of the coaches, 
And one of the coaches that I was talking with was the South Obama one. And, but like after talking with Ed and telling like uh, his like way to play and everything, he gave me like a lot of, lot of confidence since the very beginning. So, I mean, this is one of the things that I have to thank him. And yeah, also like my best friend from Spain uh, came here too. So that helped me too, to make the decision to come here. I was gonna say, I think there are currently there are four Spaniards on the team, correct? Yeah, we know each other like since we were 10. So we're like very, very best friends. And yeah, she told me that she was about to come. Like she commit, she already committed with, with Jersey State. So I was like, mm, I mean, 100% I'm going there. Like uh, between Ed's co- like between the confidence that Ed gave me and my coaches gave me and I don't know, like the, the school here, the city and everything. And then the, my best friend was coming here. That was like like a perfect thing. And how do you like Atlanta? Have you been able to see the city and experience some of the culture here? Yeah, I love it. I love it. I actually love it because this is a big city and I'm from a, a small city in the north of Spain. So it's like a huge difference between like both of the cities. So it's like... In, totally different like my life here is totally different uh, as the one that I'm living in Spain so or the one that I was living actually so yeah I love Atlanta and I love like being here well how how is it different is the city was it maybe too big at first uh, with the different the traffic and I've talked to a lot of Europeans and even the simplest things as far as driving or yeah. uh, knowing the, the numbers the currencies pounds instead of kilograms you know that type of stuff was that an adjustment for you yeah, I mean, one of the hardest things that I find here is like the food because like the diet is like completely different as the one that I've, I was following in Spain. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, we have to like, like to control every, every lunch or every dinner, like breakfast that we, that we ate. We're used to cook our own food and we have the dining, but, but we prefer like cooking our own food because in Spain we were following a diet like, Evan, me, Evan is my best friend. We're following a diet, so we want to still like following that diet, so that like our mm, like to be like fit enough uh, for the team. Do you cook your own food now with everything going on? As far yeah. as uh, are you going back to cooking now? Yeah, yeah, no, no. Like we're still cooking. Like we're cooking like since we got here this year, and I, I don't know. Like we we think that this is the best way. Like to be an athlete, like to eat well and full and diet at the same time that you're exercising. So yeah, we prefer like cooking our own food and this is why we used to cook. I mean, we really enjoy it, like cooking it, so. Yeah, and I saw that you also played with the Spanish national team. I'm assuming that was in the youth level or the at your younger age, or do you still uh, play with them at all or have aspirations to professionally uh, play in Europe or in the United States, anything like that? Yeah, so yeah, I've been in the national team, like in the national team under 17. Mm-hmm. And well, I don't know like about my future. I mean, I've been in the national team like for practicing, like for, it was like a three days practice and I went there. And that counts, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> that that and, still counts, that's that. You played for the national team, absolutely. <laughs> and also like about my future, like I would like obviously to, to play here like professionally but I don't know like I'm just a sophomore so I have like two more like two years and a half more to to play here so I don't know like I'll be fine if I if I had to go back to Europe to play the professionally too like I don't care I just wanted to still enjoy about soccer um, and yeah be like I don't know get as as far as I can. And lastly, I see you're majoring in business. Is that still your major? And uh, yeah, what I, you kind of want to do with that professionally? Yeah, actually, I really love it. Uh, I'm majoring like in international business. And yeah, I think that like I, my, my father is a like a businessman. So I have like, like I grew up with like in that world, like within that world. So I think like I really enjoy like about talking economic terms and like a business, like, I don't know, like, I'm really interested in on it. So yeah, I would like to, to work like in an international business or something like that. 
and this will be my last thing, your English is very well. And I deal with a lot of Van Land United players uh, and with our other you know, covering and they speak Spanish and it's very hard to comprehend uh, because it's a, it's very, it's, just, it's a beautiful language, but it's a tough to pick up. Yeah. How long did it take you to pick up English? Did you learn in, in Spain or did you really take a lot of classes or get acclimated when you came to Georgia State? Yeah, so um, I've, like everybody in Spain is used to take English since they're seven years old. So yeah, I've been taking it since I was seven. And then since I was seven also, uh, I, I've been going to England during a month, uh, during summer, um, like for a month during summer till I was 14. So I think, and with families and, and I don't know, schools and everything like during a month. So imagine like a eight years old girl, like they're like the only way to communicate is like to learn English. So I think that that helped me a lot. And also like I came here, uh, I think that my English got a little bit better because I go here and I had like like the British way, you know. So I go here and like I started like talking to English to like to many people and they were like barely understanding me. And I was like, I thought that I have idea to speak English, but I don't actually. And this was because of the accent. But like after a year and a half here, like I think that I like, a little bit more fluent or whatever. No, you're you're very fluent. You're very great. Well, we appreciate the time. Thank you. And good luck for the rest of the season. And hopefully we'll talk again. Thank you.